good morning. Friday, yeah, um, long week. And in part because I love Polly, but I have a very specific routine when I'm home, um, when I work, and he systematically challenges that. So, um, let me share with you quickly something that we got in the mail yesterday. Uh, Polly's mom sent him a little care package, and in it uh, was this really cool, I didn't even know they were available, but thank you, Esther. This was fabulous, because I'm making sure I'm checking this every day, um, or at least when, periodically throughout the day, especially on Polly. I check mine as well, so it's a um, pulse examiner, and it checks your... Um, heart rate and your is it um, oxygen saturation level so let me show you it comes in this adorable little uh, pouch with a lanyard which um, so cute you know oh I must have pushed on it so let me just turn it off so it's you know like if you've ever been in the hospital or seen a hospital show uh, you put on your finger so you just open, put your finger in, turn it on, and the screen will change in whatever direction you need it to, um, facing you, away from you, uh, vertically. And then you just don't move it for a few seconds, and oh, let me go back the other way. Yeah, there you go. So, my um, oxygen set oxygen saturation 98% and my pulse rate is 72. It was 66 of um, when I just tried it in the other room. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty psyched about that. So that goes into my little repertoire, my little nurse, nurse's kit. Um, I'm actually, I think I'll leave it by the bedside. This way if um, if I hear Polly in distress or if he startles himself awake. Actually, I wonder if that's why he turned on because the pouch was right there. So it comes in its own little pouch, so cute. So um, that was very, very nice. I appreciate that, Esther. Thank you so much. Um, and, ooh, ooh, focus, there you go. So it's Friday morning. Um, Polly went to go... Um, deliver the leaf blower that my parents um, had at my sister's tag sale and Polly said oh my gosh I know somebody who's looking for one so he went to go deliver that which is nice get that out of the um, out of the house and it's been a super productive morning already and I had even prior to me getting out of bed so we had uh, the water delivered uh, garbage picked up recycling picked up and the bulk uh, furniture picked up at the, from the end of the driveway, so it's all done. Uh, Polly even opened the chickens before he left, so and he took all the dogs with him, so I'm assuming he's going to go to the dog park afterwards. So I have some uh, quiet morning time to myself. Now, last night I attempted to make some iced coffee for myself, so I made some hot coffee in my Keurig and then um, pulled out some ice. The last of the ice we had, now we don't have our ice maker connected in our refrigerator, in our freezer, <clears throat> so if we need ice, I just run over to the lodge a few blocks away and get a bag of ice and keep it in the freezer. We don't have a lot of room in the freezer, so I used whatever was left. Well, let me tell you, um, it didn't do quite what I had expected. The coffee was hotter than there, I had enough ice to cool it and still have ice left to pour it over. Or um, I just did it in my, bu in my um, neutral bullet and it was just watered down room temperature coffee. <laughs> Not what I had wanted, but that's okay. So I just need to have the ratio um, more, or at least pop the coffee in the refrigerator for a few minutes for it to cool down from hot, super hot, before adding the ice. But now I'm out of ice, so I have to p remember to pick that up. Um, and it's free for us, because Polly's a member, just have to bring a bag, so I'll just bring a Ziploc bag with me. And uh, I feel like I'm a little stuffed up. I think I might need to go blow my nose. Off camera, not to worry. So what's on the agenda for today? Um, not an awful lot. Um, 
I have a couple of administrative things I need to uh, resolve uh, for Polly's paperwork for the insurance. We did get a cardiologist. Uh, his first appointment's in two weeks. He has plenty of meds until then, which is fine. Um, and it is the doctor that saw him at the hospital, so that'll be of benefit. So he has a, at least a little bit of background and. That will help, and I'm hoping to maybe skedaddle out of work a little earlier today. I'm going to have to check to see what my uh, schedule is looking like, what my calendar looks like. I don't think I have uh, many meetings. I know there's usually one or two on Friday afternoon, so... By the way, whoever schedules meetings after 4 p.m. on Friday afternoon might not have a social life. Just saying. Just putting it out there. So, oh, and I am going to share in a separate video the uh, embossing folders that I got at Inspiration Station yesterday. Since I already have my tripod up and um, plugged in, or I'll set up, I think I'll do that next. And Debbie was so nice. She included a bundle of embossing folders for me to give away. So, really cool. Uh, I'm going to share those, I think, in a separate video. Well, maybe I'll, I'll show them all, but... Um, I want to have um, some fun with a video for the giveaway. Anyway, so I'm off to work, check my calendar, check my schedule, grab my Filofax, and uh, oh, I still haven't shown you my my new Charming Charlie thing, so uh, I have, it's, there's another video I have to do. That's why it helps to be organized, because you can have something on the tip of your tongue and or meaning to do something, and then um, regular life gets in the way, and you forget, so... That's another thing that I need to do. So I'll be back in a few. So this morning's drink is a little different. Um, I have a little less bananas, two cherries. I pitted them obviously, but they're so big and they added all of that color. Look at that gorgeous color. There's also some uh, diced up cantaloupe we had in the fridge, which was still good to eat outright, but that I'd added to the juice. So it is one banana, one frozen banana two frozen strawberries, two cherries, a splash of apple juice for the liquid instead of water. Uh, it's no sugar added um, apple juice and the handful of, I would say probably half a cup of um, cantaloupe. So I'm going to keep it a little smaller today since it's already, oosh, it's 10.30 already. So. Yeah, I'm going to drink this and then uh, try and fix my office phone. The line is completely dead, so I think I'm going to swap out the cord first, see if that works. I would rather try everything I can on my own before calling in for um, someone to come out to take a look at it, because if I can fix it, why call someone? Right? Resourceful. At least I could give it a try, right? Note to self. Not a fan of pureed cantaloupe. Something about the pulp, the thickness of the pulp, just makes it taste a little bit like baby food. Not particularly pleasant baby food. Good thing I only made half a batch today instead of a, the big container. I would, much, I would absolutely much rather eat cantaloupe uh, in its original intact state rather than pulsed in the food. Whew. Yeah. No. I'm going to get this down because there's all these other yummy flavors I don't want to waste. The cherries are delicious. Um, I love the bananas and the strawberries. Actually, the strawberries are very much masked because the I think my palate is just picking up the cantaloupe predominantly. And the cantaloupe's not bad. It's not that it was rancid or anything. It's just the... Oof. No. Be warned. And actually... Is there anything that you've tried to add to your drinks that you instantaneously knew was not going to work or not going to make a reappearance in a future one? Let me know. I'm just curious. I know once I made a um, green drink, uh, juice, no pulp, uh, and I added way too much ginger and celery, and it made me feel so unwell, like sick to my stomach unwell. Which is really strange because ginger is a great digestive, but I think maybe the combination of the two. So, yeah, please share with me what you did not enjoy about a recent concoction you created. Because, you know, we can all learn. 
I now know Melon is out of the loop. Thanks for stopping by, but you're not invited back. All right, so we listened to you guys, and yes, you're right. Having the radio on, you can't hear us. Hey, look, the furniture is gone. Yay! And now you can hear us above radio 102.5. All right, that's Polly's radio voice. No, so we're gonna go. No, my voice is a lot lower than in the morning. Okay, you might want to stop. Now. Bam. Stop while you're ahead. Sorry. My impression uh, rain. Sorry. May I? Yes, you may. <sighs> <sighs> okay. So we're returning the little container that uh, Mark and his wife keep the dollar deposit. <laughs> keep their cut. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you asked for it, now you're going to hear everything. Oh. So, <laughs> instead of recycling, I'm returning it. Oh, and uh, here's my luscious new bag, you know, we're which just, I will do a separate video of. We're just like a duck. What? We quack we ourselves quack. up. Oh, <laughs> my God. <gasps> it's, yeah. Love, love, love this bag. Um, I will do a proper review probably after work today because it's so cool. It's my charming, charming Charlie purchase, and I like it. And Polly likes it, and I love the feel of it. It's faux. It's not real leather, but they really got the whole. Do you know what's cool about Char Char Charming Charlies? What is their customer service is bar none. It, it they is are. the best. Oh, they're not here. Oh, those fools. Here, Let's put that on the back door for them. Okay, let me. Where? Yeah, put it on, on the, by the garage. Okay. Another benefit of a little stand like this, we just left them an IOU note because we didn't have $2 in cash for the kale. So they just cut kale this morning and we're getting a couple of yellow um, squashes and some striped zucchinis um, to saute for dinner as a side. I think I'm going to make roasted chicken quarters tonight for dinner and um, some vegetables. And now we have some corn at home. Probably a tomato salad, tomato onion, cucumber salad, with just a simple oil and vinegar, vinaigrette. Squirrel. So, squirrel? Oh, yeah, we do not like squirrels. Not since they uh, invaded, our invaded our, the roof of our house. Yeah, they made little bitches. They extorted the nuts. Ah, ah. So, what is the little pebbles? Um, so Polly went to um, Agway earlier and picked up some chick food as well as talked to someone about our poor chicken, um, Nellie, who you saw yesterday, um, eating the dog food in the kitchen. Mm, bizarre. Um, but she's being tormented by every single one of the chickens, including her own sister. Yeah. A local, the other black chicken. A local. I don't need so um, probably was it, there was this product recommended um, to put over all of the surfaces that had been packed it makes her skin purple which is kind of funny and um, I think it's probably off-putting in taste to the chickens and since they're pecking her they're getting it on their beaks so hopefully wow. that will be a deterrent but it's not something she can reach because it's on her back and her shoulders yeah. so we'll see how that works uh, we just we did an application today Polly held her I squished it on Boy, was that a feet you ever hold a chicken that doesn't want to be held yeah not exactly an easy <laughs> Yeah, you had just have to make sure that you get your hands around their wings so they're not trying to get away and then in the process break their poor little wing. I just want to clear something up. I mumble a lot, so if you hear me mumbling, please tell me I'm mumbling and I'll pronunciate my words or <laughs> enunci like my father says. Enunciate. Enunciate. That's very true. Polly does have a tendency to mumble or sometimes he'll say something so like... That's because I was born with marbles in my mouth. You could spit them out now. <laughs> it's hard because they're glued in now. Okay, where are we going now? We're going to our other beautiful oh, farm Penny? stand, Penny Street. Oh, where the goats are. Yep. So you've seen like our all our um, local but haunts. We, we love their tomatoes, and their yeah, tomatoes they do. are to die for. They do have really they're dark red, and they're delicious. And they're perfectly ripe. And we're gonna have sliced tomatoes for lunch, and they're gonna ah. Oh. Oh, we have leftovers for lunch. We have leftovers a piece of tomatoes. yeah. We have a piece of steak. We have some potatoes, sautéed mushrooms and onions. So we could do oh a little. God. We could do a little hash, yeah, and then man. fresh sliced tomatoes, right? Yep. So yeah, that would be lovely. 
And it's supposed to thunderstorm like any minute. Yeah. Which is fine because... Your point is 72%, so uh, it yeah. ain't nice out here now. No, it is not. And it's not really hot. It's only 82 degrees. We've had much hotter where it's much more comfortable. It's just getting to that point where like I'm starting to sport a white fro. Um, oh, and there's a concert tomorrow. Oh, no, Sunday. There's a concert Sunday. Sunday Saturday is Farmer's Market. Yeah, Farmer's Market tomorrow. See, that's the Farmer's Market spot without the vendors. And then tomorrow morning, the... Oh, do you know what they have going on tomorrow morning? Oh, I uh, totally forgot. Chicken races. No, even better. Um, vegetable and fruit art. Oh. You can submit your work of art using fruits or vegetables. Like our, uh, our, our care penises. Not sure whether that's really art that Those we've are, created. It's Mother Nature created. Natural. It is, but it's long gone now. That's right, I ate them. Okay. Um, town hall. There's our tiny little town hall. They're having some work done. I got an email from the town. Um, and then, um, what else? Yeah, so, yeah, far, um, Ellington Farmer's Market posted on Facebook that they're having a um, fruit and vegetable art. Um, when are they going to have the dog show again? Oh, I don't know. And don't they have uh, like little small animal show like goats and um, baby pigs? Well, they have something every week. There's some kind of theme every week. So this week's theme, and if you want to, uh, you want to submit your creation, it has to be there by not at nine o'clock. Oh, uh, for food? Particular, yeah, particular, um, a specific booth, so you can submit it for <laughs> for judgment. <laughs> well, we had to, we tried the Halloween contest for the dogs. That didn't work out too good. No, but it was kind of cute. You know, we did a little parade of uh, the costumes. Well, that's right. We did do that, didn't we? Yeah. So we're going to run over to Penny Street, see if they have some uh, yummy tomatoes for us, because we've been kind of well, devouring them get, as actually, we eat them. one ear of corn, because we only have three ears of corn left, and we, we have, have two each. How do we have three ears of corn left? Did you get seven? Yeah. I am. Um, baker's uh, dozen and a half dozen, so... Was that woman just vigorously picking her nose? Yes, it looked delicious. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not editing that out. That's I'm, it. I'm totally kidding. Ugh. I don't need to edit her boogers ever. Do you even know that woman? Oh look, and she just flung it out the window. <laughs> I want to be great if I hit her car. <laughs> our window. That would okay, have now to be. we're getting silly. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. But you know, it's Friday and you know. We have to let her I, I just wish our down. viewers or, or uh, the people that listen to this could taste the tomatoes that we're about to get. They are quite they tasty. They are just mm, delectable. You can't get tomatoes uh, anywhere. Well, you can if you have, if you have a farm stand that has dark tomatoes like this. Yeah, there's we, nothing like a, a really nicely we, ripe we tomato. We got tomatoes in Florida once, and they look beautiful. Right. And you cut, cut into, into them. them. And they're, they're crunch. Like, they're like crunchy. Having. Crunch, crunch, and that's actually I think that's indicative of the fact that they get picked when they're still green. Yeah. So the skin changes a co but, in color, but it never actually the, gets right. The thing ripe. is that they look good. They look great, you know. Well, it's deceptive. It's like <sighs> faulty advertising. Hello, goats. Bah, bah, bah around you. Oh my god, he just sings all day long for no apparent reason. We stopped at our elderly neighbor's house, because look, there's our house, and there's her house, to drop off some cucumbers and tomato for her. We can't get, share anything with her that has to be cooked, because her son told us he's turned off the stove, on the off chance that she sets the house on fire or something like that. So, cucumbers and tomatoes. And then our long commute home, um, right there. So Samantha's trying to play with a catnip toy with Moses and she just brought it over to him. And he's just lying there panting going, what do you want me to do now? <laughs> so here's what we got at the couple of uh, stands. We got some cucumbers, some kale, mm. yummy. Some beautiful yellow um, beans a zucchini and a yellow squash, some adorable little tomato, uh, tomatoes, little plums. They're literally the size of the cherries that we got yesterday. A couple of tomatoes, we shared one with Evelyn next door, uh, pepper and 
um, corn and potatoes. Polly, I'm doing a video. And from our garden, I have to caveat it, we apparently know how to only grow midget vegetables. So, or little people vegetables, or dwarfed vegetables, or I have no idea what. But look at the size of this goofy pepper. It's already turning red. And here's a couple of um, cherry tomatoes and a cucumber. So, yeah, we grew this and then we bought that. Good thing we have some local produce <laughs> to rely on instead of our own. We would not make very good homesteaders. Although, whenever I post pictures on my uh, Facebook or Instagram, I do mention that it, if it's from our garden, that it's Homestead, um, Hensel Homestead, which is pretty funny. So, there you go. So, I go to um, edit a picture that I took of the little BP monitor on my, or the little um, pulse oximeter that um, I've been playing with. I'm a little obsessed. And I got myself staring back at me. It's actually kind of a cool picture. I like that whole half, half of you. So yeah, you never know where you find yourself. Oh, and if anybody wants to see this close up, let me know. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Thank you, Esther. That was fabulous. So on my computer updates, I'm in my reading nook and listening to Pandora. The, the The Channel. And if anyone knows that band, oh, I love them. So, him. So, until that screen is done, I'm just gonna hang out in my little reading nook and read. Yep, so I think I'm gonna say goodnight. Um, there's been a very full vlog today. So, don't forget to thumbs up. There's my shadow of my thumb. Oh. Um, free for you and it helps me out and I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching everyone.